cash for clunkers is coming to Russia, and not a moment too soon. Prime Minister Vladimir Putin has told his government to introduce a scheme for scrapping old cars by the end of the year, but it may not be enough to save Russia's auto industry. Last year, the Moscow International Auto Show was the largest in the world, with over a million and a half visitors. This year, the beautiful models were back, but foreign car manufacturers stayed away, leaving Russia's most popular car, the Lada, with the kind of monopoly it enjoyed during the Soviet era. Just 12 months ago, the Russian car industry was set to overtake Germany as Europe's biggest. Now it's on its knees. Declining production of cars in Russia was 68%. So we, we, we see dramatic uh, decline in automotive market. So uh, this market suffered uh, very significantly after crisis. Sales of new cars in Russia are down almost 50% on last year. Domestic manufacturers have been hardest hit. Production is down over 60% and some factories shut down completely over the summer. Now there's talk of up to 30,000 redundancies by the end of the year. The Russian government is hoping the incentive program will kickstart the car industry. Some Russian drivers are not impressed. Under the scheme, any car over 10 years old can be traded in for a voucher worth 1,600 US dollars, which must be spent on a new car produced in Russia. Pensioner Gennady Kozlov says a driver deserves a medal if his Russian-made car is even still on the road after 10 years. In November, my car will be four years old, he says, and there are already rust holes all over it. Both bumpers are rusty, all because the metal and paintwork are poor. And even Lada's newest models failed to impress visitors to the recent show. Kirill Glazunov is in the market for a new car, but says he's unlikely to buy a Lada. This is a new car, he says, but nothing opens or closes properly. The difference in price between this and a good second-hand foreign car isn't that much. Even with government help, the outlook for Russia's car manufacturers is bleak. With well-made and expensive foreign cars now on the market, it'll take more than a kiss and a smile to persuade Russians to buy Soviet-era brands again. Andrew Bradle, The Associated Press, Moscow.